Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me in another episode here in Foundry guys. This will be episode 14 as you can see up in the right corner we're just about to finish uh, the sand spec research. That sand spec number 5 for you. I did a bunch of upgrades in here. I think that works have like 3 4 hours so I'll say. Put a few more of these just to make all the sands work faster. Uh, we're kind of missing the still in here. Those guys are working full time. Gonna explain to you why in a moment. I took all those things out of there. Now we are making the explosives because we're gonna need them. But we are making them great. We're making them on the oil with igneum power and that pink all of my stuff. They're being deposited in there. You're gonna see it in a minute. Let's start from the beginning in here. So, this guy delivers the Technum, those are Mark 3 belts, they hold 640, that ship is getting empty, like in an instant on those belts. Oh, we are transporting a lot more that we can use right now, but there was a time where it wasn't like that, okay, we didn't have enough. Now we have plenty here, as you can see we have in here some of the new smelters. Mark the belts, feeding them with the crushed ore. Um, Mark free belt, sending out the rods because I didn't have enough rods in here. That was the main issue for like an hour and a half. We have two Mark free belts going out of this baby here. That one guy wants to talk with me for like an hour. We're gonna check it out. In here, had issue with the plates. Now we don't. That one became a Mark free. I eliminated that buffer in there that was joining that belt no needed that's a mark free everything is nice and dandy at this point almost all the factory is working because i did a bunch of research in here excuse me so as you can see we got access to that scanner with the new stuff uh, already researched everything not that one in here we can do underground mining for the ore vein gonna show you too it's really amazing we are able to make computers this will be the first stuff okay to make this CPUs rubber components we are ready to make them uh, didn't research that one nevertheless I don't know if I should go for this one or for this one next uh, this one takes less let's go for this one I think I consumed all the science packs that we have I added a few more biggest solar panels in here. Now the power is good. Uh, those five Ignium burners that were in there, I put them in there just in case they will be needed. Uh, the steam is not working anymore. We had three of them working. I put down a big transformer. That one push out 25 megawatts. Those five in there together, they make 35. So it's just amazing. Everything is working here. I modified a bunch of these assemblers there Mark 2 now because needed a bunch more wire in here for the production of the electronics As you can well see I added some more of those just to make a bunch more electronics That one became a Mark 2 now we're making a bunch more machinery parts because they put in here stuff like three or four more assemblers Just to have whatever is necessary for all this production line to work so we are building kind of everything let me show you these science packs in here being consuming them in hundreds like crazy they used to be full they're not so full anymore okay let's get the same because each research at this stage is taking something like 200 300 500 800 whatever a bunch apparently i'm still missing those advanced machinery parts in here that one in the back it's filled up but this one it's not i have in here seven apparently one two three four five six seven of them mark two but not enough still to produce everything so we're gonna need to make a lot more still let's finish with this uh, factory and we're gonna take a look at that after <coughs> In here we're making the green sands pack. This one is working just fine. 
this was also one of the main issues. Now it's solved. And here we're making the circuit boards. Now we're making a bunch. Some of them are being stored. This box is full. That one at the end is filled up as well. Uh, this is my jetpack fuel. Never had an issue with this. Sorry. But these are the Mark II miners for our drones. Picking off those two lifts. We can uh, we kind of finish that note. We are more than half away. We're gonna need to bring in here some xenophorite. That's why I put the landing platform in there. It's not fit by anything right now. Uh, we're gonna take a look at that. So we were in here. In here we're making the energy cells. Unfortunately, I didn't find anywhere with the symbols Mark II. But it's fine. I think we're doing just fine with them. Got a bunch of them. Of course, all of them are being used in the science. The ones that are not used in here to make drones. All of these guys are making drones. Not enough of those to sell that uh, those drones and get the Fermalite that we need. We're consuming all that Fermalite for the science. And some of it is being smelted for plates. At this point, almost all of it it's uh, used in there making science pack four i think i'm pretty sure of it actually uh, building material don't need so much it's fine this is the end of our buffer this is the side where we're making the boom booms uh put in there that fluid assembler which is making the explosives buffer in there filled up coming in here with the rest of the materials just to give us the explosives these are two tanks that I brought from here. I put another pump jack in there. And I got two oil products. This one, it's low density. This one is the acid. Okay, We're gonna need them in the buildings before they are buffers. Okay, they will go in there. We're gonna use them. Now these guys, I put them in here, but I didn't put in the recipe or anything else. They will be used for the robot parts and for the CPUs, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Let's see exactly because I want to start them up as it is right now. So this one, hydraulic piston. I looked in here, steel beam and low density alumite. Okay. So if I look in here, this guy it's with the steel beam and that's low density alumite. So this one will do the pistons these two guys in here. I only put two. I don't know the rates, I don't know anything. 24 still per minute. For sure we're not gonna have enough. That's a totally different story. We started making the business. But this guy should be with the other stuff. Hard to get in here of course. Uh, let me take a peek in here because easier to identify like this. Robot parts for sure. Permalize sheets, we're not gonna have enough of those because we we're using all that permalite for the research at this point. But it is what it is. So in here we're gonna make robot parts. Uh components I believe. Yeah, robot parts. The taking to per minute. Amazing. Okay, we started production. I would really like to see that recipe in there, so let me just get in close. 4 per minute, 2 per minute, 8 per minute. Yeah, and it's pushing 4 per minute, okay. Let me just put that... Uh, ...majig in there. So, we're gonna have them in here, once they will start producing. I don't know why it's not producing yet, but that's a totally different story. I should've start producing we should oh yeah we got them here perfect so we got a few robot parts springs and whatever's we should have had some pistons as well but I don't know what's going on oh yeah obvious isn't it oh. yeah looking just amazing now those will be used for 
Robots, I believe. And also for the science pack 5. It takes 4 rubber parts, 12 pistons and 1 CPU. Next on our list is to make the CPU. Most likely we'll have to make the assembly lines. Nevertheless, have two things to deal with. First is the lack of steel. Actually, it's more than two. The lack of steel, the fact that we will empty, we will remain without the xenoferrite in here. Like pretty soon. These guys became Mark II. They can reach a little further or the hold a little more because those belts were kind of empty. As you can well see, it ain't exactly pretty in here. It's gonna end up soon. So I thought, let me go on the map and grab some Oxenoferrite. But they're kind of far. And I didn't want to drive a belt like that. So I wanted to do it like with the new technology, like we did it in there with the spaceship, a ship, a transport ship, bringing it. So I put this one in here. Everything is set up. Those will merge with those two, or whatever. I'll make one of the Mark III and merge them in there somewhere on those belts. That one is still good because it's coming from afar. Uh, the other one, those two, are from that node in here, so... It ain't gonna be pretty, but it is what we, what it is. And only now I see that we have gaps in that belt, that means... The other node that it's far, far away in there, I think it's that one... Start getting depleted as well. So, that's gonna be an issue. The next stuff, the next stop, of course, is this in here. Don't have enough of this. Why? I have no idea. Let's see what's going on here. So I made these crushers, Mark II. Apparently we got a bunch of that. Let me just make that one a Mark II, just to move it f faster. I think we got a bunch. I mean, these guys, they're not even, this guy is not even pumping, so it's full. So this shit's in here, we're not smelting it fast enough. These are smelters? I think so. Um, do I have Mark II smelters? Let's see. It should be something uh, greenish. So, advanced smelter, or is the big smelter? Yeah. We have three of them. They're bigger than these boys. So they should pick from that line, they should put shit in there. Well, I think we can put them in the back in here. Let's just see if I have any on me. I have a normal smelter, and that's about it. But the smelter was in here. Let's make those three happen. Like right now. What are you building inside of you in there? Circuit boards. I don't have any circuit boards. Okay, let's go grab some circuit boards. Because I got a feeling we're gonna need a little more here. Even if I'm not using them for this, I'm using them for something else. Perfect. The next uh, speed it's unlocked, as you can well see, flying a lot faster in here. Nevertheless, with the new distances that we got to go is still not good enough uh, let's start putting them from here actually yeah one two three and let's hope that this will be enough input please okay this guy will have to be output I think that will be just fine. We are making some steel in here. That guy started working. 
Um, yeah. I don't know if this Mark II belt is gonna be enough. Apparently it's gonna be enough. Because this guy started producing it here. Most likely we'll have to add a little more. So I can put another... That takes three spaces. One. Three. I can put another three. Let's make three more of those. I don't have steel beams. Guess what? Fifteen. Well, let's just rub them from here. Let's just place them in here. It may very well be the case that we will not have enough of this stuff in here. But with those Mark II crushers, I think it's gonna be fine. And I also think I wanna make this one a Mark III just to move faster. Running out of Mark III belts. Those are made with circuits. Okay, it's moving and grooving. If I need more of those. Well, why is there a space in there? Do I have a crusher mark one? Let's make a crusher mark two out of it. Just put it in there, you know? I don't know why that space is empty. But it's not gonna be for long, you know? So this one is doing uh, this one, I think. Oh, we got that one, right. We can make the advance now. That will give us... So, yeah. So, huh. Jesus. Let me see exactly what are we doing here. Okay. So we're feeding them from both sides. From there. Which is the underground belt. And from here, this belt. Let's take this belt and feed it in here. The Ignium is coming from there. <coughs> that one from there, perfect. And we need an output on it, of course. Good stuff. Apparently we're not consuming all of it. Uh, let's put the recipe in. Uh, I think it's this one, the classic one, not the other one. So, what's the idea? It's taking the same stuff, but I think that if it's the same, it gives you double the materials. That's why it said tier 2 beams at some point, but it's not, uh, it's not exactly tier 2 advanced. Come on, let me move this piece. Advanced still making. It's not tier 2, it's just giving you double out of 1. So, basically, I should modify only the recipe on this guy. S, guys. And I should have a double output. Let's see, control. No, shift. Need to copy. Okay, shift. Right click, left click, left click, left click, left click. Okay. Uh, best to target. Good stuff. So, are they working? Sinofred and Ignium. Or and or. At this point, I'm bringing the rubble in. Wow, so what you're telling me is that I gotta crush those, make the ore, then bring them in here. Make them together, oh, it's another step of production, I see. Well, in that case, that's gonna, that's not gonna happen today. So, shift, right click, shift, left click. It's gonna be fine the way it is. We got a little more production in here. 
we're gonna see how that one is gonna work. Maybe we're gonna have enough steel models because we have one, two, three, four, five, six of those extra, which are making each 15. That's 90 beams per minute extra. 90 more than what we had before, so it should be fine. Good stuff. Let's see what this boy has to say because he's been like that with that marker above his head for like an eternity right now. Uh, what is that? Complete research. Assembly lines. This is it. If we melt down the Fermilite bars, we can convert them into highly functional sheets. Fermilite has become the galactic currency because it's both incredibly firm and lightweight. A trait that will come in handy for robot production. Now is the time to go big. Go BAG. We need to go construct a full-featured assembly line to mass-produce the robots our clients request. Oh, so we're gonna sell the robots. Is that what you're telling me? Okay. A more advanced form of mining? Ore veins buried deep? Underground mining sounds exciting. Let's get started on that project. I already did. Uh, built two or vein mine. Well, I guess I can build one already. Is this guy? Um, so these guys are working. Well, most of them, those are not. Maybe this guy didn't get filled up with ore or we're not making enough ore. One or the other, you know? They're all working, they're doing the stuff Yeah, those are barely getting any igneum in there. We're not using it in here for nothing. It is what it is, it's gonna have to be like that. Yeah, I don't care about it at this point. Don't wanna deal with that. I wanna deal with that thing just to bring in here a little more igneum that will solve my issue. Well, now. That one it's filled up now. What what do you say about that? We have the Mark II freight elevator. Which reminds me, let's make at least one of them. Um so we need freight elevator one in order to make it. I got one of those, so one from the bottom, one for the top. I don't have any in my inventory. Perfect, what am I missing? Steel beams, story of my life, isn't it? Well, apparently we're gonna need a bunch more. Let me go to the end because that box is filled up. Now we're gonna take them from here. Where are my beams in here? Perfect. So we're gonna need uh, two of these just to make two of these. Yeah. Perfect, we got a freight elevated to 640 per minute. That's good. High voltage grid. Well, I didn't expect it then. Um, I didn't expect it then, Mr. There's going to be a little issue here. Uh, let's make some of miners in there. I'd like to have six of them. Uh, so another three of those. You can make it out of those. Apparently I'm building something yet in my inventory. Old electronic parts and stuff so that means I don't have them. Okay. So we have another three. Let's make another three of these guys. Perfect. That's gonna go real fast. Now, you see in the marker, Xenodrop. Let me go in there. 
I'll show you exactly how that new mine looks. They are different on the map. They have different icon like this. You see? Drill points. 14. Drill points. 14. Whatever. Uh, I don't remember where mine is. I think it's in here. New mine Technum. No, it's not that one. This one. Xenodrop. That's how I call it because that one is called, the landing location is called Xenodrop. So let's get our legs in there and see exactly what's going on. Now these nodes, let's call them, are totally different than what we know on the ground. They like big columns, irregular columns, of ore in the ground. You see these patches in, in here, like this. And check this one out. Okay, so it goes like that into the ground. And at some point, you got in there... What should I call it? Entry points? I dig a hole in here with the uh, boom booms. You cannot destroy that one, by the way. And I put a platform in here. Those entry points look like that. So, I believe we gotta put this boy in here somehow. I don't know if I can put two or one, but it's gonna be like this. Of course, it's gonna need power. Oops. Perfect. So, no grid connection. And it's taking out, apparently, that's a Mark 11 belt. I don't know what it is. So, from what I understood, this one will drill in the middle of the node. And then it's gonna stop in there. And it's gonna start pushing up stuff for us. Uh, I need the power in here. So, you know what? Let's fill this one up. Uh, we're gonna need to have an elevator in here but that one can dig for itself let me go up because power is gonna be solar haven't built any don't know how many I have to build it's gonna be just fine we're gonna wing it as per usual uh, yeah let's stop somewhere in there because that will give me enough place for that platform as well Sorry. Not enough for those? Yeah. Well, it's cool. It's cool. Let's put that ship first. This one. Because this is the biggest stuff in here. Uh, yeah, gotta, gotta put a little more. So I'm missing one and one. What do you know? So if I put this one, there is no place for anything else in here. I'm quite curious how much power it needs. So I'm going to build a transformer, plug it in here. And see exactly what it takes. Uh, okay. Uh, it doesn't say. Can I access that panel in there? No, no grid connection. Well. 5 voltage, so it needs, it needs the high voltage, are you serious? I have to come with the high voltage in here. Yep, very so. Well then, how should we do this mister? Um, do I have, oh my god I can build a lot of stuff right now. Do I have uh, power? Power? I mean, power poles? Like uh, that slip onto the walls or only this ugly? Oh, we got that one. Let's make five of them. Or they be main. Amazing. Um. 
Okay. It doesn't work like I want it to. I cannot select those. So let's put one of them in here. Let's take that cable and try it now. From here. In there. From here. Oh yeah. This one works. Amazing, isn't it? Okay. So, what about you? How much would you need? Because I have no idea. <coughs> That's enough. So, one transformer is gonna be enough. That one takes 100 kilowatts. Uh, do I have any panels on? Uh, I don't think so. So we're gonna need two of those, or f at least three of those. I don't have the energy cells. Amazing, we're gonna check here. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna need the freight elevator. I think yes is the answer. So I don't know. Let's just put it uh, in here, the top part. Okay, come on, you can do this. I believe in you. Well, no, not exactly in the idiot. Uh, F. So it's gonna be. Well, it's exiting in the front. Let's go down and put the bottom part in that case in here. That way it will be able to dig by itself. I have the lines. Because I see an exit in there, it's gonna be a mark free. It's only one exit, so. It is what it is. Now, gotta be on that level and bring it in here. Uh, so it's about here, -ish, I wanna say. Yeah, perfect. Let me go back to the base. Um, you know what? Let me put this one in. Because we're gonna need that Mark III belt. At least one here, okay? So I can have two Mark III belts in here. Uh, go into that ship, okay? I think I can take that one out and put it on this other side. Yeah, that will be just fine. Of course, unable to put anything in there. Give me that in there. Perfect. And let's connect it. So I said two big ones. That's the best way to do this. Oh, that one is digging a bunch pretty fast. Very good. We're gonna have, I can put the spaceship in here already. If I can find it in here. Come on, baby. Yeah. Why not? Blocked by power line. Are you serious? What about that? Oh. Well, in that case, let me destroy that and that and that and that. Come with that uh, Majigi from there. In here. my transformer in here didn't expect that to happen you know by power line what power line is stupid oh because he's going in there so I need to move it free. It's 
spaces of the platform or that one again. Okay. Support, but no power. Of course, you don't have any power. That's where what we're trying to figure out how much power will be needed for this stuff. Oh, come on. So, 2.3 and another 100 kilowatts. That's like nothing in there, okay? But we need 2.4 megawatts. That's a lot more than uh, two solar panels, big ones. You know, it's gonna be something like four, maybe even five. Let me get back in there, grab the energy cells, make them, and I'll see you guys back in here. Okay, if it works, it works. We said at the beginning. So, uh, 800. At this point, that one consumes 300 kilowatts and the Orve miner 500 kilo so basically I need, didn't need six of them well two were enough so this boy will begin drilling in there I don't see exactly what's going on but is get some and after that it will push itself into the middle and it's gonna stop in there and drill in there and we can make uh say his name uh we can make it eternal hm? with the um, is it the list going up Hello? Anybody? There it is, so why isn't this on function? Okay. Hmm. With the fraction. We can make fraction uh Fracking towers just to make it forever ours like working real nice and good and amazing right here. Of course now I gotta bring that one in there, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. We can take that belt Mark three. Still have some on me. Sorry, I want it. Okay, so that should put him in the ship. As long as this guy transmits something? I mean, this elevator should have worked. Oh my god. Was it that stupid all the time? Yep, I was. Okay, uh, let's put the freight elevator too in here, in that case. I'm hoping that changes all. Oh, this one. Straight. So at this point I have, I have a freight elevator one, which is just amazing. I don't know, the output of this should be exactly like this. I don't know if I should have put two of these guys in here or not. 
Can I move this this way? Did it make the hole? No. Only some little pieces in here. Uh, because I got the thingy that says put two. Okay. That's the only reason I took it out. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Made free. It is what it is. So I can put this boy in there. And I can put this boy in here. And I can have two of them. What do you know? Okay. They should work. We should have enough power. Um, no grid connection. Your grid connection is coming right up, boy. Uh, okay. Let me bring you a power pole here. Good stuff. Both of them are working. Both of these are index. Um, let's go top, see what's happening in it. So that one is loaded up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It says in there no foundation, so we're gonna have to put foundation in here. But it's fine. Just did that. So that one is pissing out as well. Yeah, they're both working. Uh, I think I should make the other one a mark too as well. So let's just do that really fast. Where were they? In here. I need to... They made using the mark two, The mark one. So I just made the other one mark two. Uh, now... <sighs> Because we're gonna need some different another belt in here so let's just do this oops sorry uh, like that like that Is sitting with the power. Oh, it's strained. Um, doing very good with the power right now. This boy is getting filled up in here. We'll have a happy little robot in here that is not moving at all. Uh, he will take off, bring the xenoferrite back to the base. These guys are kind of working in here. They're not producing as much as I want them to. The setup is made. It's made for a big production. Let's just call it like that, okay? Got two of this. I don't know. Their speed. Uh, 160 per minute, it says. So, this was not needed in here. One Mark One lift. Should have been enough for all of this. Nevertheless. Yeah. Oh. So I gotta put a freaking tower up top of it at some point. Oh, 160 per minute? Well, it's better than what we had with the drones, let's be serious. It's already inside the mountain. This one, it's not. It will get in there at some point, I think. Um, <laughs> oh, that's 320 for both of them, so this one is not needed. Well, no. Uh, I think I deleted one one. We'll have to rearrange this. Okay, so if it's free 20, those are more than enough in there.
And that can become our body. Because that's what it needs to be. Perfect. Um, but this one is not going. No valid target station with configure names. Found. So, how is this one called? Xeno drop. Maybe capital D? Yeah. I'll pop it in the way. Good stuff. Uh, I want to put in here buffer, of course. That belt will not be needed anymore. Good, so all of that will go into this buffering. Which is gonna get filled up at some point. I have no doubts about it. Let me rearrange the stuff in here. Okay, I want my exit from this buffer to be on the other side. And in here, I think I want to make mark three just to fill this one as fast as possible. Intake, please. Perfect. You've got to be output. Amazing. So we are mining that boy sending up whatever he's doing in there. Uh, what's the transfer rate on this? Mark one. Hello? I don't seem to find it. In here. Uh, it's so free to elevate this one. It's... It doesn't say. And this one is 640. So this one must be 320. Should be more than enough for that belt. Nevertheless, that belt is not filled up. So something is wrong here. Uh... Well, let's just do that in that case. We'll have two entry points in here. Because this boy got filled up really bad. Well, apparently we're doing a lot more than 160 per minute. So that's a full belt of 320, barely working. Uh, okay, this game at a latest, later stage in here is kind of finicky, if you ask me. Let's make this one a mark too. Let's see what's going on. So now it's going full time with two 320 belts. Uh, yeah. Of course, blocked up top because it only has one exit point. I can solve that with only one belt in here. That belt. Because that one takes out 640. Uh. Let me put another... Well, going back now. What the hell? This is really finicky in here. I'm getting empty. Not quite. Okay, so the final configuration has in here... Two. Mark two. Freight elevators. Uh, they're both feeding into that box, feeding into the station, everything will be sent back. Uh, the grid looks okay -ish. Getting there, but it looks okay for now. Let me go down and see if that boy digged up because it put it somewhat different. Yeah, it started working 
this drawing with Mark III, everything that it's in here. We are going down, for sure it's not 160 per minute, that's not, it's, I think it's double than that for each one of these boys, but, um, yeah, it is what it is, let's get out of here. Out and about, our ship will get filled up, it's gonna deliver Odex in a ferret in there. So it's coming home the ship right now. We should see it from there. Six hundred meters. Where exactly are you? Cause I don't see you. It just flies up. Should come from there. Well, uh, I saw it. Beautiful. So let's go back to the base now. They're both working now, the miners. The grid is okay. Everything is nice and dandy. Let's get back in there, see what the little robot has to say to us because we kind of did what he said. And uh, I don't know. Keep on moving on, I guess. So that ship that we just visited comes in here, deliver everything, delivers everything put some in these boxes which will get filled up soon enough and then it exits on these two belts okay uh as you can see the one below is kind of skipping from time to time but it's not finished yet okay so at some point it's gonna be finished and we're gonna take those belts and plug them in there or at least one, you know? That one is uh, kind of skipping as well. Maybe we should already supplement this one. Uh, yep, I think so. Because I need this to be full time filled up. One of these should be more than enough. Drop down, please. That will supplement the holes that we have in there on that belt. Uh, maybe make it mark two, you said? Okay. Here you go, mark two. So, when and if that one will get finished, empty, this one will supplement that line. Same thing for this one. When it doesn't have enough, uh, or that one, I don't know. Which is supplement those lines. Or at least one, because that's doing the rest of the stuff. But apparently we're missing ore from both belts, which I don't like. Kinda hard to supplement like that, you know? Supplement both at the same time, that's what I wanna say. Just gonna put it in there. We're gonna call it a day. But you see, if that belt it's empty, then uh, and this one is full, we're still gonna have missing pieces in there. That's what I don't like at this point. I mean, right now it's good, but when it's the gap on the other one, I cannot supplement it from this one.
so now we will be able to supplement both of those. That one is supplemented in there, as you can well see. And that one is supplemented by the exit. That means both of those will be filled up. Because the priority is set on that belt. So it's gonna be just fine. I think so. That one is not gonna supplement it by anything. I think, uh, yeah, it is in here. Sorry, forget about that. Good stuff. So I fixed those. Let's see what that stupid robot has to say to us. If I can find him. Yo, where are you? In here. What's that question mark above your head? Underground mining. I built them. I made them. That's right. Underground mining will allow us to acquire large amounts of ore very quickly. I really enjoy visiting the deep, dark depths of the mine shafts. How about you, BB? Jesus Christ. That's stupid. I don't like this. I don't this like is it. it. If we melt oh, down the fertilizer bars, had that one. we Sorry. can convert them into skip it? functional F4. sheets. By now. Okay, so let's see what have we done in here. The next step will be to find the new ore, breaking it down, smelting it down in arc furnaces, uh, make a bunch of liquid out of it, out of it and then uh, get 600 of this. And 1600 of this. Why isn't this one in there, mister? Oh, I'm missing a. Uh, one of those, perfect. Good stuff. Um, only 600, so we're producing less of this. It's fine by now. Those look fine. Uh, this still looks good in here. In here as well. Uh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, in here, <laughs> that's again. But I see that that belt is filled up almost. So it's good. I think we're kind of catching up with this. Not making enough blend. Maybe. Not making enough blend. So we're feeding that on two sides. Uh, why is that a thing? It doesn't matter. It's fine. Those three are not even working. What's going on here? Oh yeah, you see because it's taking one, sixty, and eight. So basically these two are eating all of this bell. And those two are eating all of that build. We need a bunch more of this mister in here. A bunch more. So this one should be a mark free in here. Uh, okay, good stuff. So I should die to this. Uh let's Delete it in here. Wait, no, delete it in there. Delete it there. Make. Where is it? Went away? That one, a mark free. In here, mark free. Perfect, perfect. Why isn't that one pushing on it? Why, why, why not? Why? It doesn't, it cannot? Are you stupid? Like that? Or you're just pretending to be stupid? Let's put the merger in here. Mark free, if we can. Yep. Yeah, I think that will be just fine. So, those mark twos, that one, and one in there. Adjoining to a Mark 3 belt in here. 
This one continues as Mark III. It's coming here as Mark III. Uh, this one will have to become a Mark III here as well. Okay. That one is feeding a Mark II. It's the one from below. But what I want to do is make this one a Mark III here. Uh, what happened? I don't have enough Mark III? Okay. Why didn't you say so? Yeah, it's going very good. Because in here, this Mark II is more than enough. That one only continues as a Mark I. It's not used all the time. Good, I had the slopes. That means in here we're gonna have 320. Uh, 3, 4. That one gotta take from that side as well. Uh, pretty. something is wrong there. Mister? What's going on? I deleted that one accidentally. Okay. That one is not a Mark III in there, mister. What happened? Out of Mark III, don't tell me. No, I have 59. So, 320. Right? On a Mark II. So I can support four of them. One, two, three, four. I can support these four guys with this belt that I have in here. Okay? Do you agree with me? I think you kind of did. Okay. So, let's... Yeah, it's only two entrances. <laughs> The other three, that one will never work because that one has to become a Mark III as well. So let's see, can I do that Mark III? Uh, Bernie was able from this spot in here, which is just great because that one can become a Mark III. Now we got two Mark IIs, and that one is supplemented, that one is not, but it's fine. Uh, we're sending a Mark II in there. That Mark II is the one joining with this Mark III in here. In here. Because in there we have a Mark II exit and a Mark III exit, so it's gonna be just fine. Not enough Ignium. Well, I was kinda expecting this. that one going the steam turbines normally they shouldn't be in use ever like uh, this is a full bell coming in so we should support four of them yeah well four of them are working three of them are not so Maybe we should bring more Ignium, we said. This one comes all the way from there. I'm afraid that one will be depleted soon enough, so maybe we should come and grab this one and bring... Yeah. Let's get in here and bring... Minus 79 minutes. Bring another build in here. Or just make this one mark free and put it inside this box. And then this one in here can become a Mark III. Just like that. Now it's gonna work because it's gonna empty that one, but after that, uh uh. So we're gonna need more Ignium. Uh, amazing. Guys, we're gonna leave this episode in here. Uh, in the next one, I think we're gonna build the CPUs if I don't decide to make it by myself. And um, 
maybe, just maybe, you know, we're gonna start doing those sense pack 5, 6, 18, whatever. I kinda need them in order to do some research very important in here. Which is called flight speed, this one. I need the 150. They are made... Come on, it doesn't show me up in there. I gotta come in here. Robo parts, robot parts, hydraulic piston and CPU. So first we're gonna have to build the CPUs. For that we gotta take care of the new ore and that is Telxite. It's got a pretty color. I don't know where it is on the map. That's a totally different story. Because I don't know where it is. Oh, I found one in here. Apparently it's a deep node. Uh, and that's about it. Oh, another one. Deep node. So only deep nodes. Well, I didn't expect that one, mister. Apparently we're gonna have to do in there what we did in here. Add the Xenodrop. Hmm. Really interesting. Really, really interesting. Because I wanted to bring the production in here. Nevertheless, the production is gonna be quite difficult. Because, because, because uh, it requires a lot of power. Yeah, not too close. So this one, it's at, it doesn't even say the depth. What about the other guy in here? Doesn't see the depth. Okay. Wow. It is what it is. I'm gonna see what's gonna happen to the next one. I think we, I'm gonna do this by myself in here. I'm gonna show you what I've done into the next episode. But this one is long enough, guys. Thank you so much for being here for watching this. If you like it, don't forget to put a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and if you wanna see more. If by any chance you wanna support my dream of becoming a full time content creator, you can do that by grabbing yourself an amazing membership. Thank you again for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you all.